Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexandra Goryachkina and Joan Joan. This is a game from the Grand Prix chess tournament played in Lausanne in 2020. Alexandra Goryachkina had white pieces and she started d4. Joan Joan played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, d5, so we have the queen's gambit. C takes on d5, the exchange variation. Knight takes on d5, the semi tarash perhaps. E4, knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, c5. This is the standard move in this position. Knight to f3, c takes on d4, c takes on d4. Bishop to b4, check. Bishop to d2, black to move. Bishop takes, bishop on d2, check. If queen to a5, then rook to b1, and after bishop takes on d2, check, queen takes on d2. Back to our game. We have bishop takes on d2, check, queen takes on d2, Jun Jun castle kingside. Bishop to c4, all the standard moves so far. Black to move. Knight to c6 is the most played move in this position. Jun Jun played knight to d7. Goryachkina castle kingside, b6 intending to fianca to the bishop. Rook from a to d1, bishop to b7, rook from f to e1, rook to c8, bishop to b3, rook to e8. Let's take it back. Queen to f6 is the most played move in this position. Rook to e8 was played. h3, h6, white to move. Goretkina played rook to e3. This move was for the first time seen in 2005 in the game between Ileskas and Komas. Knight to f6, queen to e2, rook to c7, d5, e takes on d5, e5. Goretkina follows Ileskas' idea. Knight to h5, we still follow that game. Rook to d4, g6, queen to d2, Black to move. Juan Jun played queen to e7. Comas played knight to g7 and came second. So we have queen to e7, white to move. Knight to h2 was played. It seems that bishop takes on d5 is also a pretty good move. After bishop takes on d5, rook takes on d5, but now black can play knight to f4. Back to our game. Goretchkina had a different plan. Knight to h2 was played. Queen to c5. Intending perhaps queen to c1, check. Rook to e1, queen to c3, offering to trade queens. Queen to d1, rook from e to c8, white to move. How would you continue? Goretchkina played e6. This is a pretty good move. Undermining the defender of the g6 pawn. Knight to f6, knight to g4, knight takes on g4, rook takes on g4. King to g7, pawn takes pawn on f7, rook takes on f7, rook to e6. Black to move, how to defend the pawn? g5, but this exposes the black king even more. White to move, how would you continue? King to h2 was played. Why? Let's take it back. If white plays f4, then queen to c1, trading queens. Back to our game. That is why Goretschkina played king to h2 first. Queen to c7 check. Rook to g3. Rook from c to f8. Queen to d4 check. Rook to f6. White to move. How would you continue? That is a move that is asking to be played. And that is h4. Queen to c5, offering to trade queens and exiting the pawn on f2. Queen to e5. This is very unpleasant for black. d4, offering to trade queens again. Let's take it back. If queen takes on f2, then h takes on g5, and after h takes on g5, rook takes on g5, check, king to h8, 
rook to g4 and white wins. For example, if rook to f7, then bishop to c2. White is threatening queen to h5 check and also rook to e8 check. Both moves are winning. Back to our game. d4. The only hope is to trade queens. h takes on g5 check. h takes on g5. Rook takes on g5 check. King to h8. Rook to h5. King to g7. White played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to g3 check. Juven Jun resigned. If king to f7, then rook to h7 check mate. And what else? If rook to g6, then rook takes rook check mate. That was a very beautiful attack by Alexandra Goryachkina. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.